Hi, this is Manos Berlakis and this is case 191 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is actually a follow-up of case 181 that was an investment procedure. This is a reminder for that case that patient had disease in the LAD and had a CTO of the right coronary artery that was filling via collaterals from the left. There is the RCA, diffusely diseased vessel. The patient underwent uh, a percutaneous coronary intervention attempt that was outlined in detail in the video 181. The right coronary was approached with an ADR. There were multiple attempts for re-entry using various systems, including the Stingray balloon, as well as the recross microcatheter. And despite using the straw technique and other techniques, it was not successful. And in the end, we performed the star technique with the Gladius Mongo. And this is the final result. There was extensive dissections in the right coronary artery, extending into the PTA and to the right posterior lateral. So we did not place stents on the right coronary artery, but instead advised the patient to return back for a repeat attempt for recanalizing the RCA. The initial plan was to come after two to three months, but due to logistical issues, it was a little delayed. So he came back six months later. And this is how the angiogram looks at six months. There are still some areas of dissection. However, most of the right coronary artery has healed, and there's still good T3 flow for the RCA and to the posterior lateral with um, uh, a CTO of the PDA. This is the array of view showing that we do have good undergrade flow. And again, this is um, a remarkable improvement. The dissections have excessively healed, although again, there remains a small area of dissection. This is the intravascular ultrasound, which uh, demonstrates uh, that the vessel has successfully recanalized. There are still some areas of stenosis. There may be some areas where there is some residual dissection. And there is also areas of calcification. However, for the most part, the vessel had healed and actually had increased in size. This is now a 4.0 millimeter vessel. Wiring was very easy into the posterior lateral using a workhorse guide wire. And then we placed two drag eluting stands from the distal RCA all the way to the ostium of the right coronary artery. And this provided a nice result. We do have, uh, again, Timothy flow into the posterior lateral. We decided to attempt to recanalize the RCA CTO. So we did undergrade wire escalation with a Corsair. That was a filter XTA that uh, seemed to enter into an extra plug plane. So this was removed, and then we used the Pilot 200, and this, uh, this time this seemed to advance within the distal trilumen. Given the small size of the vessel, we performed inflation with a 1.5 millimeter balloon, and we ended up with a nice final result with Timothy flow into the RCA, posterior lateral, and PDA. We did not place any stents in the PDA due to small size of the vessel. So in summary, this is an example of uh, a good outcome with an investment procedure. We did have extensive areas of dissection on the right coronary artery during the index procedure, but we did have good T3 flow, which is key for maintaining patency in those vessels. Ideally, the patients should return after about two months to allow enough time for the dissections to heal, but not too long time where the vessel might reocclude. In our case, the patient came a little later at six months, but there was still uh, undergrade flow into the RCA, which was easily wired and standard, followed by wiring and ballooning of the PDA. Thank you.